down the street moved away and they're letting us have their trampoline it is so exciting the trampoline is so bouncy I can jump way high like a grasshopper dad and uncle Sanjay are moving the trampoline right now I can't wait until it's in our backyard I'm gonna invite all of my friends over to jump with me Except, Mom says that only one person can jump at a time. But I want all of my friends to be on the trampoline at the same time. I want it my way, but Mom's way is with just one person. Ho! Ho! Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho! Ho! Jumping all around, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm really excited to have my friends over to jump on my trampoline. But mom says that only one person can jump at a time. Following rules can be hard, it's true. But obeying them can be good for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Hello, hello! I am Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! 
These are my fishtail cupcakes. Aren't these little fish so cute? <laughs> they remind me of today's story. It's a big fishtail. Are you ready? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Jonah. Everyone say, hi Jonah, hi Jonah. <laughs> One day, God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh. Whoa, Jonah, wait, you're going the wrong way. He doesn't want to go. Can you help me call him? Jonah, Jonah, there he is. <laughs> now God told Jonah to go to Nineveh and tell the people to go God's way. But as you can see, Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. Jonah thought he had a better idea. He wanted to go sail on a boat far, far away from Nineveh. Now, can you guys tell Jonah what he should do? Should he go Jonah's way or jump, jump and go God's way? <laughs> yes, he should jump, jump and go God's way. Say it with me. Jump, jump, go God's way. Jump, jump, go God's way. <laughs> oh no, he's not going God's way. He's sailing away. Oh, Jonah, God's way is always perfect. I wish you would trust him. But Jonah wanted to do things his way. While Jonah was on the boat, a big storm came up with wind. Can you guys rub your hands together like this? And then rain. Can you guys pat your legs? It rained more and more, harder and harder. Jonah knew God sent the storm for him. So in order to save the other people on the boat, he threw himself into the water. The storm stopped. Then God sent a giant fish to swallow Jonah. There, Jonah was inside the big belly of the big fish. Everyone say, hi Jonah. Hi Jonah. Now, do you think you should have gone God's way, Jonah? Sometimes we think we have a better way, but God's way is perfect and we can always trust him. Jonah prayed and told God he was very sorry he did not go God's way. Then he praised God and knew that God's way is perfect. When Jonah was finished praying, God made the giant fish spit Jonah out onto dry land. Welcome back, Jonah. Are you ready to jump, jump and go God's way? Good job! So, Jonah went to Nineveh, and guess what? The people decided to go God's way, because God's way is perfect. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jonah learned to go God's way, and so can you. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a story. When Jonah was inside the big fish, he finally decided to go God's way. And we can go God's way too, because God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it, get it? Got it! Good. I need to obey my mom about only one person jumping on a trampoline. That's the best way, so no one gets hurt. I'm gonna jump now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22.31 
God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22:31.